Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at how you can retrieve random rows from a database. Uh, I'll start with SQL Server and later on in the video I'll show you how to do the same thing with MySQL. Uh, this website is findthechannel.net, it's my directory of YouTube channels. Uh, one feature I have on the site is that you can click on this button and get a random channel. So we'll do that. Uh, so every time you click on this, you find a random YouTube channel. Um, it basically just goes to the database, retrieves one random row and then shows the results. So let's have a look at how you might achieve this in the databases. Uh, we will start with SQL Server. Okay. Now we are in the SQL Server Management Studio and let's see how we can get some random data from the database. So we're looking at the table called T underscore creators. This is a list of all the uh, channels on the website. So as you can see, this is a basic query. So the first thing we want to do is to change it so that we only have one row. You can do that using select top and then a number. So top one will only return one. Uh, you can do 10 if you wanted ra 10 random things, then you do uh, 10 there. But as you can see, every time we press this at the moment, it's not random. We get the same rows returned every time. So the first thing you can do here, uh, let's change that to 10. So we get 10 random rows. If you order by new ID, then this is pretty random. So we've got this one here, Beauty Writer up first, as uh, scuba diving at seven. Okay, let's try it again, just to prove that it's random. Okay, yeah, we are getting different results. So this one works, and if you just want one result, then you can just do select top one here. So this definitely works. As you can see, we get a random row every time we run the query. And this works because new ID returns a GUID. If I just do this, let's see what we get. So it just returns a random GUID. So basically it gives a random GUID for every row in your database. And then it orders by these, which are completely random. Uh, let's do this again. So I don't know if you've noticed anything about this query, but yes, it's very slow. Uh, I have about uh, 67,000 rows in this database, and this is just too slow, really. So I had a look and there are various other ways you can do. Um, this works perfectly okay. I would say if you have like less than 10,000 rows in your database, it's not a very big SQL Server database, then this is perfectly okay. Uh, but if you have more than 10,000 rows, I would recommend using something else. Uh, one thing you can do is table sample. This uh, was introduced in SQL Server 2005. Um, so basically you add this code, uh, table sample, and then a number here and percent in brackets. Uh, let's try this on a hundred rows. Okay. So you can see it's pretty random. Um, this is very fast. As you notice, it's much, much faster than the other one. Uh, where's the other one here? Let's change that back to a hundred. see how slow this one is but using table sample is much much faster uh the problem with this one is that if you make this number too small let's do this then you might not get any rows returned at all which would be disastrous if you're expecting some data returned uh let's see so okay so this works uh, sometimes if your number's too small and you don't have enough rows, then you won't get any data return. Let's try 0 0.05. Um, uh, so you see this time we've only had four 
rows returned uh, how many we we're expecting 100 and how many we've got uh, yeah the problem with this is that it doesn't guarantee how many rows you might get if you make this number too small so you see we've only got 26 if you were depending on 100 random rows this isn't very good I think well, uh, if you set it to one then it's okay but the problem with this is although it's very fast uh, it can be a bit erratic and it depends how big your database is i would definitely use it if you had like 1 million or 10 million or 100 million rows or something uh, but it is a bit erratic um, as I say yeah it doesn't always return rows so it can be a bit dangerous to use this one uh, there is one more query which I found on the Microsoft TechNet website uh, so it's a bit complex um, but basically I found it on the website here and all you need to do is put your table name here and this one you need to change this should be the primary key of your table in which case I use ID for the uh, primary key so that's what I've changed um, let's execute this one okay so this one is very very fast and random and um, let's check how many rows we got and you do actually get the right number of rows so Microsoft uh, reckon that you should use this um, it is many times faster and as you can see it's very random so if you have a lot of data then I would definitely use this type of function and I might actually change my website to use this one um, let's just go back so where's the other one so if your database is small then I would definitely just use new ID it's okay if you have like less than a thousand rows uh, if you have a really big database uh, I recommend you do this one which isn't too difficult to change and so that's how you get random data from a database uh, this is SQL Server uh, next I'll have a look at my SQL and see how you can achieve it in that database okay so here's my database of YouTube channels in my SQL and we'll just do a quick query uh, not that quick it's a bit slow uh, okay so this is all of the data uh, so obviously if you only want uh, certain results then you can use limit let's change it so that we only have a hundred retrieved okay that's much faster and how do you make the uh, MySQL query so that you get the random ones uh, here all you do is this order by rand and let's see okay so sorry that's a bit small there but you can see that that random results are returned um, it is a bit slow um, if we just want one result we can do limit naught and one okay so it does work but it is a bit slow okay so as we saw earlier in the video with SQL Server there are various different ways of getting uh, random data from the database and in MySQL it's the same um, I found this query so basically you just have to put your table name here and then run this query and run it again yep so we're definitely getting random data from this one uh, let's try 100 rows Make sure this works as well okay yep so that works uh, let's see if it's faster Yeah, so when we order by Rand, it's pretty slow now. Uh, this one is much faster. So I'll link in the description below to these articles. Um, there are all various different other 
methods of doing this in MySQL. Uh, it kind of largely depends on how big your database is, but if you have millions or billions of rows, then definitely use something uh, that isn't brand. Um, as you see, this one is much faster. Okay, so that was an overview of how to find random numbers. Uh, remember that uh, uh, database performance is always really important. Um, it will depend on how much data you have as well. So um, you'll probably learn more SQL as your database uh, grows and you need to keep uh, the performance high. Thanks for watching.